Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can animate a clock. And uh, in order to do that we need to make a clock, obviously. Uh, now this tutorial is not necessarily about animating uh, or about creating the clock but about animating it, so we're going to keep that fairly simple. And we're going to start off by creating a, um, a cylinder. And we're going to drag that out in the grid. Drag that up a little bit, and we're going to go into the attributes, and we're going to make that nice and round. So select your Poly Cylinder 1 tab, and we're going to make the subdivisions, uh, I don't know, 40. That looks a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Oop, not there. There. Okay, 5 for shaded mode, and we're going to create some simple uh, time indicators. So I'm going to create a simple little cube, pull that up a little bit, and we're going to position that on our clock. Okay, I'm going to go to my top view and hit F to zoom in. Okay, something like that. I'm going to hit Control D. I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to hit Control D, hit E to rotate it. Like that. Hit W to move it. And again, this is not about, you know, making a fancy clock. This is about how to animate it. So it's not going to be the best looking clock in the world. Hit Control D again. And we're going to move that down there. All right. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. I'm going to drag select these. And I'm going to pull them down. Sorry about that. All right. So just for visibility, I'm going to apply um, uh, material to that. So I'm going to select those, right click, assign new material. I'll go with a Lambert and I'll change the color to black. And I'll select the face of my clock, right click, assign new material, Lambert, and I'll change that to white. All right, so we got that. Now next we need, um, uh, you know, something to indicate the time. So I'm gonna create another cube, something like that. Hit F to zoom in a little bit. Pull that up just a little. Okay, we're gonna move that in position somewhat. Again, I'm going to go to my top view, and I'm going to drag that down so I'm on my horizontal line, and actually the size isn't too bad. Okay, just a little bit down, a little bit more. Okay, now that looks pretty nice. So make sure that here it's about level, like that. Okay, and this is going to be a little bit over your center, like so. Okay, so we got that. Let's check our height. Pull that down. Okay, something like so. All right, let's see how that looks. We're going to give that thing a little bit of color as well. So select it, right click, assign new material, Lambert, and black okay so now we got a very very simple uh, clock now the only thing that we're going to be animating is this hand here so what we're going to do is we're going to it's at 12 o'clock right now we're going to select that and we're going to create a number of frames here let's say a hundred like so and when we're going to animate this we need to make sure that the pivot point is at the right location. In order to do that, I'm going to go back to my top view here. 
and I'm going to hit the insert key. And now I need to make sure that the center point is equal to the center of the clock. So I'm going to hit F to zoom in a little bit. Now this is fairly important. So let's say there and just a little bit down. Okay, something like that. Okay, so we got that done. Now, I want um, this to obviously go in this direction and I need to set a number of frames for that. So I'm on frame one right now, as you can see here, and I'm gonna hit S while I got this uh, hand selected to set a key. And you can see this red line popping up here. And now for the next position, I'm going to go with, let's say, 24 frames. So I'm going to select 24. And I'm going to rotate that hand. Make sure you got the right uh, control. Okay. Let's see how I'm doing there. That's not too bad. Okay. And I'm going to hit S again. So the second key is here. Next one at about uh, 50 frames. So I'm going to go to 50. And I'm going to rotate that some more. Like so. I'm going to hit S again. I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to go to 75. More or less 75. There we go. I'm going to rotate that again. And, you know, you can be more precise about it. It's about, you know, how to do it. Okay, hit S again. And once more, I'm going to go back to 12 o'clock. Something like that. And actually, I had to go to frame 100 first. So I'm going to bump this up a little bit. 150. Go to frame 100. Redo that rotation like so be a little bit more accurate okay like that hit s again and now we're going to go back to frame one okay and i'm going to hit play and there you go there's your clock running all right now, it's pretty straightforward, very, very simple. Um, you know, have fun with it, and uh, you can make a very nice and uh, decent clock, not the one that I made, and, uh, you know, play with uh, the hands that you want to animate. But this is basically how it's done. So if you've got any questions or comments, uh, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you liked it, and uh, likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Thank you.